Okay, this one is page 10. <coughs> All right, so back to the uh, formula sheet. We've got surface area of prisms and cylinders, which this is just cylinders on this page. So let's write this formula down. This one's a little bit longer. It's not too bad once we use Desmos. So we're going to go surface area of a cylinder, which is going to, it's got like two parts, two times the value of pi times the radius squared. Again, got to be careful, make sure we have a radius. And then we have to add two times the value of pi times the radius we don't square the radius that time, we just put it with the height, okay? So I think the first thing, before we even jump into this one right here, let's go to Desmos real quick. Let's get that formula uh, set up. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna start out. And remember, I'm not gonna put the pi symbol. I'm gonna put uh, 3.14 in parentheses. So let's go to those parentheses 3.14. Okay, that automatically um, multiplies it. Let's go R squared. And let's put a plus symbol right here. And let's go 2. And let's parenthesize the pi value we're using again. And then let's go R and H. There we go. So if you look, the only letters that we need are R and H. Okay? We just got to make sure that um, our uh, R is a radius and not a diameter. Okay? I'm going to hit enter there. Hit enter and Again, give me two lines. Well, it won't let me tell if it's values in. That's cool. Let's bounce back and look at what we have for the first one. So, number one, surface area. We have, this is halfway, so that's a radius. And there's a height. And that's all we need. So, bounce back over Desmond. Let's put it in. R of 6 and H of 8. R equals 6. And H equals 8. 527.52. 527.52. And that is centimeters. And since this is surface area, it is squared. Or remember, you could write it as square centimeters. Okay, so there's the first one. Let's jump down here. Now look at this three. That one goes all the way across so we know that's a diameter. Okay, halfway three, all you gotta do is three divided by two, which gives me a radius of 1.5. And my height is right there, four. So I got a radius of 1.5 and a height of four. Radius is 1.5. Make sure you get your decimal in there. And then my height we said was 4. And there it is. 51.81. 51.81 feet squared. Or square feet. Okay. Let's go to 5. Again, what do we have here? That's a diameter. Let's split that in half, which would give us a radius of 1.5 again. Look, same dimensions, exact same problem as we just had. I don't even, I'm not even going to put it in Desmos. We know it. Radius is 1.5 and the um, height was 4. So we know that this is same as number 3, 51.81. But this time it's 
yards squared. Cool. That saved us a little time. All right. Here's seven. This time I already have a radius, which is great. And there's my H. All I got to do is pop those in Desmos. Radius of 8, height of 12. Radius of 8, height of 12. 1,004.8. And that is yards, and it says its area or surface area is squared. Cool. Number nine, I have a diameter of four, so I'm going to change that to a radius of two. That's the only tricky spot that will get you in trouble if you don't forget to change that. Okay. Here's my height of six. Radius of two, height of six. Radius of 2, height of 6, 100.48. 100.48. And that will be feet squared. 4 square feet. And there's not a 10 on this one, so that's good. So just remember, uh, all you got to do is put these formulas in Desmos. When it shows a pi figure, we just put 3.14 in parentheses. And it takes care of everything, okay? On the next one, I'll cover those word problems. Uh, some of those are a little tough, not too bad. We use Desmos in it. Um, so there you go. I'll see you then.